Hey guys, I'm Devin DeLima, and this week I'm here to talk to you guys about the most important holiday of them all. And no, I'm not talking about one that brings all of the family together. I'm talking about the one created by Hallmark for you and Bay. That is Valentine's Day! So it's a little late in the game here, but maybe you're panicking. You're thinking, I don't know what to get for Bay. What does Bay want? What does Bay like? Why do I keep calling them Bay? Do they like when I call them Bay? Don't worry, I have 10 horrible ideas to get your significant other for Valentine's Day. It's what I do. Also, I'm pretty sure all of these are on Prime, so you can get them in two days and be done. So, you're welcome. The first one is a Valentine's Day doormat. Two questions. What and why? It's like, here you go, honey, since you walk all over everything else in your life. This one sounds dirtier, but it's a plug-and-play romance novel. Like, seriously, why does this thing exist? Can you imagine the amount of novels they just have to print by hitting like control F and then they're just like, good to go, great, done, it's personalized, whatever. I don't care that your husband's black and this is totally describing a white dude. Do you think this counts as ghostwriting? Does it pay way more than it's supposed to? The I'm sorry pillowcase, because that's what your Valentine wants to hear. Just don't apologize for being a bad person on the day when you're supposed to be a good person because it just reminds your person that you suck. I want to know who bought this because this is a very esoteric group of people who messed up right before Valentine's Day. I'm genuinely upset there's no reviews on Amazon for this. I want to know how well it went over. Anti-Valentine's Day gifts. This is honestly so cringeworthy because it's like if you're so against Valentine's Day, why would you get something for someone for Valentine's Day? I want to meet the person who opens this and is like, yes, this is awesome. This is exactly what I wanted. If you're the type of person that buys this, let's be real. You don't have a Valentine. Sorry. Creepy cards. Okay. Okay. To be fair, the inside of this card kind of turns the whole thing on its head, but like, come on. Can you imagine giving this to someone and they're just like, Oh, this is, this is funny. <laughs> okay, I'll see you later. I would be like, finally, someone's giving me the sweet release of death for Valentine's Day. This is what I wanted. Valentine's Day coupons. Let's be real. This is just a trick to get your dick sucked. Ironically, this is super cheesy and unoriginal. It's something that you see in like every movie, and I don't understand people who actually genuinely give them. If you're that desperate that you can't think of what to get your Valentine, that you're giving them the same thing that the protagonist in a teen novel turned into the latest blockbuster movie did for their significant other like oh my god just they're gonna dump your ass a keychain now I know what you're thinking it could have something really romantic written on it perhaps not this but uh you know what it doesn't and it shouldn't have anything and no who would be able to have this keychain out at all times i mean that is a brave soul who genuinely thinks this is funny or romantic or anything because it just says to me hey babe i objectify you so hard a dragon necklace how can you look into your loved one's eyes and be like babe i got you this sweet ass dragon necklace and look i get it some people have different tastes from other people and that's fine but this is tacky as hell if you give this to your sweetheart i expect you to be in eighth grade and no older Sorry. There's also this this t-shirt here that I saw that was like, I don't need a Valentine. And it's like, like, oh my God, try harder. But get it. You're single, you're ready to mingle, but you're also kind of available for all the boys and girls to like come and sweep you off your feet. But you don't care because you're independent. The only person that's going to wear this shirt is someone who believes so hard in Valentine's Day, but they're trying to convince you that they don't. Sorry, you do. And lastly, a candy basket for you and your dog. Seriously, what the fuck? I get it, maybe you love animals, or maybe you love someone who loves animals, but my god, can we find a different characteristic to hone in on for this holiday? Also, a candy basket? Like, there's no way to win there. It's like, oh, you're really skinny. You need candy. Oh, you're fat, you like candy. Like. Hope you guys liked this video, and if you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I put out new videos every single Saturday. Hope you guys have a great Valentine's Day, whether you're single or in a relationship. And if you don't have a Valentine, don't worry, girl. I am here for you. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you next week for another brand new video. Later.